this way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my producer Dan is in here chilling with me today. Yes, ma'am. Um, all right, well, let's get into some Yee tea right away. So we're getting ready for this Jay-Z sit-down with CBS Morning's Gail King. And there's been clips that have been circulating ahead of this full interview coming out. And so now part one has finally been released, and we have some of those highlights for you in case you haven't seen it. He talks about the last song that he played for Biggie. So the first song I made for this album, Streets is Watching, that's the last song I played for Biggie. He kept saying, play it again, play it again. And then I gave him the, uh, it was on the cassette. I'll never forget, like, he looked back, he's like, the whole album gonna sound like this? It was playful, yeah. but it's also almost like, you man, sure? he's coming, he's yeah. coming. That's exciting to hear. All right, Jay-Z also talked about what will it take for him to get back in the studio? I want to make music, but it has to be something important. I don't want to just make a bunch of tunes. Mm -hmm. That's not going to serve me. It's not going to, it, won't, mm -hmm. it won't feed me, first of all. What does feed you? What feeds you? I have to be saying something important. It has to mean something. You know, it has to mean something to a, the larger, a larger society. Like 444, for example, it was a personal story, yeah. but the yeah. amount of vulnerability in there allowed for a lot of people to explore the space. And listen, let's not forget, he did kind of do a collaboration album with um, Jay Electronica, mm -hmm. a written testimony. And so, I mean, I guess, you know, part of it is is that, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to if he's got something in the stash ready to come out. Because I, I think what it was was at that time, just hearing Jay Electronica's lyrics. Because when they did that album, Jay Electronica did not know Jay-Z was going to get on that many songs. Mm. It just happened like that, you know, so. Some inside scoop. All right, now, Jay-Z said also that he would not sell his masters. Here's what he had to say. Did you yeah. ever sell your masters? No. Never? No, no. I get why people do it. I've been fortunate enough to make money in this place. But for me, it was the fight of my life. You know, from being an independent company from the beginning and then going through the Def Jam system, not really understanding how that works and them having my masters, then going back to Def Jam as the president and then that. saying, okay, I'll do this job. And part of this job is my masters has to be revert back to me. You know, it was my kids to see my work. You know, and if they decide to sell it, then it's up to them. Yeah, and I do understand why people sell their masters. I know a lot of people who have done it um, because you get a huge check that you could do something with, you know, depending on what your situation is. But we see that sometimes it could be hundreds of millions of dollars, and then you can use that money to do other things to make more money. All right, now, Taylor Swift, speaking of people making lots of money, she has reached billionaire status now. And that is all because of the success of her Eras tour, according to a report. Yes, that uh, tour alone added $4.3 billion to the country's gross domestic product. Crazy. Is that crazy? Yeah. Taylor Swift, whether or not you like Taylor Swift, yeah. when it comes to these moves, all right, she's a 12-time Grammy winner, um, and she has the movie, her heiress tour film, that came out a couple of weeks ago. The film made over $80 million in advanced sales and grossed over $130 million worldwide so far, by the way. And I think she's also doing an album to go along with that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean... You know, and her dating Travis Kelsey right now, they're saying that has even added to her success. I think they even named a play after her or something like okay, that. I didn't see that. Yeah. All right. Well, that is your Yeeti. You hate it? Yeah. Why do you hate it? I'm a football fan. Well, and Taylor everyone's making it seem like Taylor Swift is bringing all this attention. To, I mean, she is bringing all this attention is. to the NFL, I mean, but, but not to like football fans. Like football fans are like, all right, all right what do you mean you don't know who Travis But that's Kelsey the point. Is. You know, the football fans are going to be there regardless. Yeah. Now this is a different level. And that you could never have anticipated, that you couldn't pay for. It's good for her, too. Really good for her. All right, well, that is your Yeti. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar. And you know Elon Musk is involved somehow, as he always is. It's Way Up with Angela Yee.